from 2003 to 2010, Francis Stewart was director of the Center for Research on Inequality, Human Security, and Ethnicity at the Department for International Development at Oxford. The fact that this center grew out of her interests is evident in the name, inequality, security, and ethnicity are among the many topics on which she has done groundbreaking work. Early in Francis's career, she was a lecturer in the economics department in the University of East Africa in Nairobi. While in Kenya, she did case studies of the cement brick industry and the maize grinding industry as a basis for her highly original work in the economic theories of how firms and countries do and should select among available technologies. Her first book was the 1977 Technology and Underdevelopment, an important contribution to ideas about the role of intermediate technology for both employment and output. The perspective of development is one in which reality challenges many of the assumptions and methods that are standard in less applied fields. Standard economics has only gradually been reintegrating real world phenomena such as ex efficiency, technology gaps, externalities, economies of scale, and indivisibilities, concepts that had been kept alive and refined all along by those working in development. At Oxford, where Frances has spent much of her working life when not in the field, she was in the thick of the controversy over social cost-benefit analysis, where she protested the unrealisticness of the idea that governments could know and apply social valuations for a whole society without being unduly swayed by those who held the most political power. From this, she took it as a logical corollary, the responsibility for an economist to act as an advocate, consciously operating as part of the political fray rather than trying to stand above it, and rejecting the concept that economics could be a purely positive science. She is an exemplar of what has been called norm entrepreneurship, the promotion of a set of moral values as the basis for international development policy. Her advocacy has always been for those most in need of protection, where the, whether they are the ones who lack access to basic needs or children, and whether protection was needed because of local inequalities, conflicts, or internationally imposed policies. It was the last of these which informed her participation in UNICEF's influential 1987 study, Adjustment with a Human Face. Francis's recent works have included War and Underdevelopment, published in 2001, and in 2008, Horizontal Inequalities and Conflict, Understanding Group Violence in Multi-Ethnic Societies. She is president of the Human Development and Capability Association and vice chair of the United Nations Committee on Development Policy. She was previously vice chair of the board of IFPRI, the International Food Policy Research Institute. She was awarded the UNDP's 2009 Mabuba ul Haq Award for her lifetime's achievement in promoting human development. And in 2003, was named one of 50 Outstanding Technological Leaders by Scientific American, which cited her as a policy leader in economic development strategies for promoting anti-poverty campaigns to help quell armed conflicts in developing countries. That's a lot of different things going on all at once. It's been an extraordinary career so far and continues, and we're very honored to have Frances here and uh, want to present her with this year's Leontief Prize. Thank you.